Good evening. This is the Old Service. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome to another edition of the Home Service Live. Good evening, everybody in chat. How are you? Yes, we're doing live. I'll just double check, making sure my stream is all right. Do I sound okay? I've just got Zan. Am I on top chat? Yeah, I am on top of chat. Ha 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 ha. Bless Zan. Hello, Zan. Zan saying hello to me on uh, VC. Just getting rid of that one. Good evening. How are we all? Well, what a week. What a week. I've had... Yeah, it is a bit good morning, Vietnam. Goober, good evening, Kerrika. How are you, sweetheart? Lynn, Garrig, Andrew, Bill, yeah, Billy, Salford, Zan. Good evening. Oh, welcome. What a week. What a crazy, crazy week. Expo. Just been absolutely crazy and I obviously never went back to work until uh, Wednesday so I took a whole week off so brilliant times I had by all. So the show, the show has actually changed a little bit. I was going to talk about a uh, e-pod system called J but obviously uh, certain things have gone off and Daily uh, Vape TV Big thumbs up to you, kiddo, uh, for uh, informing us. So that and the, uh, what's his name, the cowboy, uh, Daniel. We can't talk about that either, if you understand what I'm meaning. So, yeah, we're having to be very careful what we talk about. So I did have an actual piece on about the pod system beginning with Jay, but obviously due to circumstances going off with daily TV, I think I'll best leave that alone. So I only found that out about two hours ago so everything I'd love to yeah I like USB yeah USB you'll be I thought Cowboy Danny was pretty good <laughs> we have to just be careful so careful at the present moment things are very uh, sensitive should we say on YouTube so uh, I'm going to be keeping clear so I haven't really got that much to talk about so besides obviously Expo Expo was ace so I'll show you what I've been vaping on. I'll show you what I got from Expo as well. Plus, I've got a couple of bits and pieces of vape mail as well. We've got, we have got a juice tasting segment and we've got the big box giveaway draw. Yes. So hopefully you all entered and the people that have entered, I've got them all on a list here. I think there was in total 44 uh, people actually posted in the uh, last uh, last um, uh, show so you've all been hello entered rob good evening sir so obviously i will be doing that later on sam i do believe that you did yes you did get uh, sam i do believe your name is in there not under character but under sam so yes uh, i'll be doing that later on so it's the big box giveaway so uh, yeah, can't wait to do that. So what am I vaping on at the present moment? Well, I took this device with me to Expo, and to be honest with you, I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. This is the UL uh, Iron Fist, and on top of that, I have got the Twisted Messers Pro 24, and I have absolutely been enjoying this. Really nice little rugged mod, but it fits really nice in the hand. What have I got on that one? I'm just remembering what I've, what I've got on it. Got me on brew lemonade. This is a lovely mod. Really do like it. Hi Matt, how you doing, kiddo? Really do like this one. I've got some um, Claptons in this one. Quite chunky ones, and the uh, yeah, the flavour is absolutely gorgeous. Did you see that? That's what you don't <laughs> fire. Did you see that? Did you see that fire? <laughs> Get some juice on it, Mark. Blimey, in it. <laughs> it's an unwell. <laughs> Fancy that happening live. Mm. 
This is a corking really is. I do love my Twisted Messers 24 as well. So, after I've just nearly burnt myself there, what else have I got? I have got the wall crawler. I've been got that on top there is the fragment tank. I really do like it. The only downside I've got about this one is the battery life does not last very long. It's getting very vaping here. That's the only downside. Hi Chris. Hi Matt. Joseph. Bill. Yeah, Cloud Ripper reviews. Good evening, sire. Bill D. Yeah, it is the small crawler. Yeah. Nice mod. I love the screen on it. Hopefully you can see it on here. Really nice screen on there. But it's, yeah, it's a bit... Uh, batteries don't last long. So I've got this uh, 40 watch, which is lasting me reasonably amount of time. Hello, Dark Storm. How are you? Uh, what have I got on this one? I have got, where is it now? I have got the MFPB, the B Peanut Butter Candy. This is from uh, Vaporgate Europe. From them. Is that, that's the wrong way around, isn't it? I'm, I'll have to swap my camera around. Uh, I'll be right for tonight. <laughs> uh, so my solum's going to be backwards as well. Ah, oh, honestly, crazy. I've been setting up my... Um, me uh, up and close cam and when you do that I can't control this camera it's, it's a pain in the behind so anyway that's uh, MFPB I am really enjoying that one I'm not a big peanut butter fan but now and again I like it this I really do you know that um, oh is it called brittle yeah, that peanut with toffee it's kind of that kind of a taste so yeah I know I'm gonna have to move the whole room around <laughs> To be honest with you, I didn't even notice until we've gone live. So, been enjoying that on the Frogman tank. This is quite a nice little tank. This, again, is from Vaptio. Yeah, it's like peanut butter brittle. It just tastes exactly like it. Really, really is nice. Normally with peanut butter um, juices, you normally end up getting that dry bit. I have got it, yes. I have got it, Bill. <laughs> I'll be showing that off in a second. So, been enjoying that. One of my treats at Expo was I got the V-God Pro. Been playing around with that uh, this week. I am not a fan of the RDA that comes with it. I've got to admit, not a fan. Now, I picked the kit up for £55 at Expo. Now, it's normally roughly around, what, about the £70, £80 mark for the kit. So, I thought £55 was a billy bargain. So at the present moment, I've got the uh, is it the Druga on top. Been enjoying that. Do like the mod. Not keen on the uh, RDA that comes with it. It's very it's bottom airflow, but it leaks around the top and leaks on. Oh, nah, I'm just not a fan at, at all. So what have I got on there? I have got my lemon ice tea from Duty Free. Just want to give Duty Free a big congratulations. They won the award at Expo for the best menthol. So big congratulations to Duty Free for that one. I thought that was really nice. So I'll give this another drizzle. This is really nice. It's a lemon iced tea. Really do like that. And the uh, V-God itself, it's nice. I do actually quite like it. Even though it is a 24mm uh, in diameter, it feels like a 22 for some reason. Have I ever vaped it? No, I have never, ever vaped it, no. Never vaped it. I've, I've, never, I've never even sampled it, to be honest with you. It's just something that I don't need, and to be honest with you, not now. There you go. <laughs> anyway, keep away. <coughs> I'm coughing here. God, I'm not doing very well today. So I'm really enjoying that one. That's really nice. Another Billy Bargain I picked up at Expo. This was from uh, Grey Hayes. Um, it's the Desire Mad Dog uh, mech. And I picked it up 15 quid. I thought... Yeah, can't complain at that. Got the Battle Star from uh, Smoan RDA on top of there, and that is quite nice as well. What have I got on that one? Oh, okay, here we go. All right, if I knew what I had on. I got the watermelon and cherry. Really do like this one as well. Ooh, 
turn it on. I'm just not doing very well today, am I? Really not. Nice. Really nice subtle. This is an aluminium body, this. And considering it's aluminium, it hits pretty well. I'm quite impressed with it. Nice little locking system at the bottom there. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. I do like it. So, got to mention it, Anta. You all know me and my purges. I ended up getting a purge. Ta! -da! I got me a purge. Yeah! This is the most expensive mod I have ever bought in my life. This cost me £220, yes, for a metal tube. I absolutely love this to pieces. It's absolutely brilliant. Holds a 2700 or an 18650. Gailey Bobs, Huggle Sweetheart. Hope you're feeling a little bit better than the other day. Big love to you. And to you and Zan. So yes, look what I got. So I am over the moon. Now this one is a little bit of a special one. This is the black button edition. They only actually made 50 of these and there was only five at Expo. So yes, I got that. I was going to get the Enforcer. Yes, if you all remember, I was going to get the Enforcer, but they didn't have the one I wanted. So I was a bit gutted. Orion Braces, big huggles to you, kiddo. Hope you are feeling a little bit better than earlier on today. I hope the old mouth's a little bit calmer. So uh, get well soon, kiddo. So yeah, the Purge, I, I wanted a Purge uh, truck anyway. Uh, my friend uh, WNA Vapes, he got the Purge truck, but in uh, brass. But I wanted the black gnarled and I absolutely love this to pieces it hits like a truck oh, I just love it but yeah hello tabby cat Astrid Nomad wrong show <laughs> it'll do I don't mind I like it now the enforcer I was I ummed and ahed about it because Zan got, he got the Enforcer and to be honest with you, I love the Enforcer. You think he's ugly? I like it, but I wanted the one with the uh, silver button instead of the brass button or just the plain black button. I wanted it silver and then obviously have a silver RDA on top, but they didn't have any at the uh, stall. So yeah, kind of... Um denard and um denard, and then we got talking. We're talking about truck and the thing that went off with the um, purge and truck. So uh, we got chatting, and you showed me this one, and I thought I do like that one. It's going to look good with my dead rabbit on top, and I got it. So there. So that's basically what I've been vaping on this week since we got back from Expo. Ah, oh, Expo. Got to thank everybody and i mean literally everybody that oh hi one more thing been still vaping on this one still keeping having a go uh, i did the review uh, yesterday for this one so yeah. what's the review what's the review just want to give a big thank you to everybody that came up and said hello to me it was absolutely wonderful and that's one of the biggest reasons why i went to expo anyway Yes, to have a look around and look at the shiny shinies, I, I can't help it. I must have been a magpie in a past life or something, so I can't help looking at the shiny shinies. But it was meeting you guys, and honestly, it was absolutely brilliant. And I want to give a big shout out to all the guys from the Vape UK network. We was all in the same hotel, and it was absolutely brilliant. It really was. Me and my brother and quite a few others uh, didn't get... Um, should we say early hours of Saturday morning, half past five, we, we uh, had a few drinks, should we say. Can you put a, on a black pen stick mod? Uh, it's knowing what your black pen stick mod is. <laughs> on the 1.4 ohm coil. Yes, this is still the 1.4 ohm coil. Yeah, on this, on the ripple, yeah. It is the small airflow, um, airflow, the air slots. This is the one mil air slots. A little bit of a tighter draw, but still that lack of flavor, very lacking flavor this. I've got a feeling it's down to the ceramic coils. 
also another thing because I was talking to Wellen today about it. What I also think, besides obviously being the ceramic coils, I think is the distance between where the coil is and actually how it gets to your mouthpiece because it has got a fair way to travel. So that's what we've been talking about. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, getting back to Expo, I've just got to give you guys at the Vape UK Network, you guys were brilliant. Gail, honestly, sweetheart, you and Jewel, honestly, looked after us something rotten. You really did, and it was brilliant. I know, good evening, sire. Purple lady, babe, I didn't see you there. Hello. So, yeah, it was absolutely brilliant. Um, Vic was in the same hotel as us. Uh, Mark, um, TVP, he was there. What a cracking lad he is. He absolutely, he's in hysterics. Bill was there. Mike Vapes was there. It was, it was just brilliant, honestly. It really was good. So I was really enjoyed it. One of my highlights of, actually, uh, Expo was meeting Billy the Heathen. Because obviously everyone knows I am a big dead rabbit fan. So it was nice to shake the hand of the gentleman that actually made probably one of the most, my favourite RDA of all time, to be honest with you. Because I turned around to him and says, if anyone's going to make an RDA for me in the way that I vape, dead rabbit is that. So showed me his new versions that are coming out soon. So I had a sneaky preview with them lot. So it was great meeting them. It was nice meeting Nick from uh, Daily Vape TV. He was lovely as well. Great meeting him as well. And my good friend who's going to be on Vic's show later on tonight, Mike and his wife Lisa. Oh, what a couple they are. Really yeah, just lovely. It was like we'd known each other for years. It was brilliant. So I really, really did enjoy it. So that was Expo. And I just want to thank everybody, like I said before, um, for coming up to us, me and my little bro, and shaking his hand and saying that they liked the show and they liked the Last of the Summer Vape show and that lot. It, it was brilliant. Really, really heartwarming, honestly. So, uh, yeah. Danny, MBK, good evening. And it was always, it's never Expo without you, Danny. Never. Every time I think of Expo, I always think of you, kiddo. So it was lovely seeing you as well, Danny. So, vape mail. I better get this vape mail sorted out, aren't I? Right. First off, one that I bought from Expo myself. I haven't even properly opened it up yet. So let's get over to the table cam let's move that over hey what do you think to that to a table cam <laughs> right we've got this the Troran. and even properly i opened it up once so you're getting the first look get that out there get your little that's quite nice isn't it yeah so let's have a look at the mod itself. Make sure nothing else is in there. There we go. What do you think to that then? Hybrid top. Let's open this up. Come on, open it up. There's the button, continuous contact button. This is the one that's got the ball bearing on the inside. Obviously, I'll show all that lot off on the uh, review. But that's laying on the inside. Holds in 18650, 2700, and 21700, I do believe. So, yeah. There we go. So I think that looks kind of cool there. Just put that back on. I'll put this back together now. <laughs> so I was really chuffed I picked this up. I don't, believe it or not, it was 30, was it? Yeah, 30 pound I paid for this. I was well impressed. Just put that back together again. The only thing that niggles me, don't know if you can hear that, it's got a little bit of a rattle. That's that ball bearing on the inside. I'll just move these out of the way. What else did I get? I got. You sure get the cam? I got that. So just open it up. Let's have a look. There we go. I got the black version because most of my gear is black. I thought, 
Ooh. Uh, uh, get that out. I got the black version. I just think it looks kind of cute. Because most of my mods are black nowadays. I thought go all matchy matchy. Looks quite nice, I don't know. Okay, I've got to put on top. No, I can't pull this deck off. Am I going to be able to pull it off? No, I'm not going to. This is so impromptu, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, them uh, O rings are very, very tight. So I've got the Equitus. Equitus? Equitus. We'll call it that for a time being. <laughs> so yeah, it's really nice that. I've got something to put on top. Hang on a second. I want to have show you a deck. I've got to show you a deck, haven't I? Get this on here. Show you the deck. May as well show you the deck. There you go. On there. There we go. That's your deck. It's, it's, would you class it as a postless deck? It's like semi postless, isn't it? Would you class that as a semi postless? Vaping postman, I'm talking about you. All right, kiddo. So, would you class that as a semi postless or a postless deck? Interesting. Get this back on there. There we go. Yeah, it's like. It's, I, was, I assume it's classed as a, a raised postless. Yeah, yeah. It's nice that though, isn't it? I also got this as well. I'll get this back on here and just show you. This is the Vulcan. Uh, my good friend Jay has lent me this to have a play with. That snaps on there. Just may as well uh, just move them out of the way. May as well show you them. There you go. What do you think of that? That is the Vulcan. Really is nice. Nice little deck as well. Really two post. Get that off there. Nice little two post there. So that'll be all coming up for review soon. So there you go. That's just a little bit of what I class as me, me vape mail kind of thing. I'll just put everything all the way in there. Got some other bits and pieces. I got the um, uh, some more bits and pieces from uh, Vaptio to show you, but I'll show you that next week. Oh, Mark. It was awesome seeing you over the weekend. It really was. You actually made, you were one of the guys that made my weekend. It was absolutely brilliant. While I'm remembering, just don't forget that later on in the program, we will be doing the big box giveaway. So just to remind you what we are giving away. We're giving that lot away. There you go. We'll go through that in a bit. So I'm giving all that lot to one lucky winner because obviously I reached the uh, 2K the other week. So to celebrate the 2K, I'm going to be giving all that lot away. I'll be doing that in a bit. Before that, we'll do a juice review. So prior to that, has anybody got any questions? Good evening, Chuck Meister. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sam. So, has anyone got any questions before we go into, because I'm going to do my juice review at half past, and then we'll obviously we'll start uh, getting into the uh, the giveaway bit, because we've got to do it. I, I'm getting excited. I've never done, um, I've got a randomizer sorted out. Uh, the, it's called the randomizer chooser. So I've got that all sorted out on here. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll all work. If you don't, it'll be a complete disaster and we'll just have a giggle about it. Hi, Lisa. Good evening to you. I hope your hubby's uh, getting himself ready for later on tonight. Claire, hi, sweetheart. No, you definitely will never, ever, ever. You have got a lifetime guarantee of free hugs, Gail. She's like my baby sister. I love her to bits. <laughs> Thank you very much. If you get up to a thousand, you'll freak out. Cool. Mr. Soliomi, dead sinner. Good evening, sir. How are you? So, yeah, I'm ever so sorry about the lack of uh, content this uh, evening because I did have a, like I said, I had a 
quite a bit of uh, news to talk about obviously things have changed so unable to talk about so might as well do that juice review gary good evening sire so we might as well do a juice review tonight we are going to be having a look at this it's the surreal vapes Car caramello there you go going to be having a look at that little bad boy so i'll get that off there my camera's just at the side here so i'm having to stretch over like that i'm gonna have to redesign things so i've got that on my dead rabbit and my glm i've already pre-wicked this up so let's give it a taste i don't know what is i mean obviously it's caramel but what else is in there hi tim good evening so let's give it a knuckle test and see what we think. Mm. To be honest with you, not that keen. It's very caramelly, obviously. You know, like caramel without the chocolate, it's that gooey stuff. Mm. So we have all the warnings there. We have a batch number, expiry date. Yeah, we have all the information, ingredients, and manufacturing, all that information there, all that good stuff on there. So let's give it a drizzle and see what we think. To Caramello. Has anybody tried this before? <laughs> you gotta do a knuckle test. A moose knuckle? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I haven't watched Grim Green yet. Do you know, Summer, I've, I've, I miss, obviously, uh, Thursday, because no, I always watch Grim Green on a Thursday. And I missed Grim Green, and I missed his uh, May the 4th be with you as well. So I've got a lot of catching up with Grim Green to, uh, this week, because I'm a big fan. Right, Caramello. Let's give it a blast and see what we think. Mm. Mm. I, I don't know what to say about that one. It's definitely got that caramel, you know, like your, your chocolate bar, the, the caramel gooey bit. You've got, you've definitely got that, but this, oh, I'm almost getting like a, like a cinder toffee type taste and then so like there's I'm almost hinting a bit of orange hmm has like I said has anybody actually tried this before very interesting it's very very sweet really is sweet this hmm I don't think I like this one. No, no, I'm not keen. Not keen at all. Mm. I'm almost getting like a um, like a fudge. And that's the best way of explaining it. A bit of a fudgy type taste. Mm. Not a big, big fan, to be honest with you, that one. Yeah. So that was uh, Sur Surreal Vapes Caramello. Not a fan, not a fan at all. Right, let's start talking about the giveaway. Ho, 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 ho. Are you ready? Pause to watch so long. Awesome. How cool is that? Right, the giveaway. What have we got in the box? The big box giveaway. We have got... The Cryos 2 RDA, RDTA. We've got the Raphael X. We've got the Tesla Tank. I'm not quite sure what that is. The, uh, I can't even read that. It's tiny writing. We've got Juice. We've got the Moonshot 24. 
we have got the Golden Armor RDA. We've got a Ripple. Got to have a Ripple. Ripple. We've also got the Rev Mod GTS Mod. I know this is all backwards. I do apologize. We have got the Ceres Vape Closer BF Box Kit. Squonk Kit. And we have got cotton and coils well wire so we've got all that that is the big box giveaway i'll be probably throwing in some more juice as well as we go along so the obviously it was really easy to enter obviously you just had to put your name in the uh, uh, description section the comment section on the previous video so that's all you had to do and we ended up with i think it was 44 entries in total so I thought that was pretty good for my first ever giveaway. I don't really normally do giveaways, but that'll be there. I'll just put this out of the way. So that is what we're going to be giving away. And I'll do that about, uh, ooh, what shall we say? We'll do that in about 10 minutes time. So that is the giveaway. I'm gonna throw some more juice in there and probably throw some other bits and pieces as well. So uh, yeah, yeah, only 44. I was quite surprised. Yeah, so while I'm here and you are, if you could give this uh, video a thumbs up, that would actually be brilliant. So obviously hoping to get them subscribers up and, and keep on going, we've got to keep on pumping away at this soul on reviews uh, channel so you want a beanie <laughs> i think i've got one left to be honest with you i think i've got one left beanie i've got to because uh, i've got the old design like this i know it's backwards but i've only got the old design yeah that's true 60 in and only 20 likes please give me a like that would be awesome you want the lemon recipe thrown in? Oh. <laughs> people taste my lemon and they do like it, which is which is quite a compliment. I had quite a few people at Expo try my lemon, my homebrew lemon, and it's a very very basic lemon. It really is. But yeah, it lasts me all day, every day, and I've been vaping on it probably what three years, probably some stuff like that. Yeah, we already know that, Goober. Yeah, that's uh, why so like my uh, content has uh, decreased uh, slightly because I did have some uh, news uh, about that. But uh, obviously, we can't talk about that now. It is getting a bit worrying what we can talk about and what we can't talk about on uh, YouTube these days. So, yeah. But that's another story. You would love me to throw in a purge now. <laughs> MF, good evening, sir. Now, on about purges, I've got me other purge here. Yeah. Got two purges. Do you know something that was quite interesting? This is the purge back to basics uh, version two. This only holds an 18650. Look at the size difference. There's not much in it. I would say, what, about a centimeter, if that? How cool is that? I was quite surprised how much compactly they've got this in really i do love my purges <laughs> are you pooing yourself <laughs> <laughs> yeah we can't talk about that either goober it's uh roy's refuse good evening sir do you know some that guy is such a gentleman i want to give you a big thank you on behalf of my wife and little bro's wife thank you so much you were such a gentleman helping him uh, on the last day thank you so much and you were awesome all through you and bunny it was wonderful seeing you guys and i got plenty of hugs off of uh, bunny so yeah honestly roy thoroughly enjoyed meeting up again with you kiddo really was just made the weekend really did so since i've sort of like got lost a little bit of content has anybody got any questions that they would like to answer ask me to answer because normally i noticed uh, a couple of um, shows back i keep on missing now and again the odd um, question so has anybody got any questions Get 
upgrade of that. They have all gone quiet there. Thank you very much, Roy. Honestly, kiddo, it was absolutely brilliant. Craig, on Saturday, I was not too... Uh, I was there, uh, but I wasn't there too long. I came in the morning. Well, I say morning, about 11 o'clock-ish, and I stayed until 2 o'clock. Then I went home because... Well, I went to the hotel, and then I came back around about 4-ish on the Saturday. Um, on the Friday night, uh, I, I'm not a big drinker by any means of the imagination. I do like a tipple now and again, but very rarely and we was all outside the premier inn uh, there was a load of us there Gail Bops and Dan and all them and we were drinking and we were drinking more and more and we just got talking and talking and talking and obviously the, the drinks flow and oh boy did I get drunk oh did I get drunk I, I haven't been drunk like that in what about 10 years must be must be 10 years since I got that drunk and like I said I didn't get home well I didn't get back into the hotel room until half past five in the morning so Saturday morning oh I was bad oh god bless her Gail she gave me one of them uh, Barocco things that you put to you know you flush your system and all that like oh I still felt rough rough as hell so i was sort of like walking around expo in the morning time well late morning um like a zombie so i stayed until about two o'clock and then i went out had a quick nap and then came back at four o'clock so if i did miss anybody on saturday i do solely apologize that was my bad big boys good evening sire hope you're all right matey it was nice meeting you as well at expo <laughs> So, yeah, Saturday was a bit of a... So, yeah. Had to be done. I think we were all Will. I think Mark, oh, bless him, Mark. He was absolutely sloshed. He really was. But so, so funny, honestly. He had me in hysterics. Mark, honestly... um. You just made that night. You really, really did. Get to... Was I bad? <laughs> I know, I was sloshed. Oh, I was so bad. <laughs> was it all Purple Lady Vapor's fault? <laughs> It was brilliant. You've not been pissing in 20 years. <laughs> but it, it was brilliant. It was an absolute... It was so like the whole family was there. It was just so lovely. And we were all chatting. And it just the night just carried on. The drinks flowed. It was brilliant. And honestly, Mark was... Oh, he was so funny. So him and our Aiden were batting off each other and honestly they had me in hysterics how wet in my sound it was just brilliant so i'm going to leave it another five minutes before i do the draw because i'm worried this is not going to work chats messages and drink yeah that's that's basically all it was you drank almost a liter of jack daniels on saturday night wow I'd, I'd hate to imagine how much I drank. I really do. I hate to imagine. <laughs> it's not a Vapors AA group. Uh, the, I, to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure, uh, Darkstorm. Um, the tank itself, is it a static protruding 510 pin? If you can answer me that one, if it is, then yes, you can use it on a hybrid mech. As long as it is a static protruding 510 pin on it. If it doesn't have a static protruding 510 pin, then no, you can't. Does that help? Someone is messaging me. Gailey Bobs, I'm sorry for missing your message. You missed my question. What did you think was the most innovative thing at Expo? Right. Expo, I thought, 
there was a hell of a lot of pod systems there and there was the usual juice there was the usual cowboy Danny there and all that good stuff the most innovative thing that I saw at Expo was the ultrasonic uh, device I thought that was so cool now obviously I brought this up in I think it was about three weeks ago something daft like that on the uh, live show and obviously I'd not tried it or anything like that but I thought that was quite interesting and speaking to quite a few uh, um, vape reviewers as well a lot of them were saying how cold a vape it would be and yeah it was a cold vape but it was a very crisp and dense flavor it was really really nice it was like having a uh, vape from an rda very much like this the kind of vape that i like that almost you could chew on it type of vapor but it was just cold it was weird it was weirdest experience i've had because obviously i'm used to warm hot hot vapes and yeah i thought that was quite in really honestly i thought it was quite nice it was a nice not too keen on the actual design of the actual mod itself i know it's expensive and i think the cartridges are something daft like five pound or something daft like that but it's like i was explaining on the last of the summer vapes the technology is quite new so obviously anything that new obviously is normally more expensive so yeah i thought that was the uh, uh, most wow thing at expo regarding mods and things like that you were surprised yeah i know it, it was a weird one i think you could get used to it i think it's because we're used to a warm hot dense vape it was sort of like you kind of get used to that so obviously i think after a while you would get obviously used to a, a cooler vape but it, the, the flavor of it was lovely it was really nice crisp um flavor but really dense vapor so i was quite impressed with it to be honest with you besides that there was just to be honest with you loads of pod systems and to be honest with you I'm not a big fan of pod systems, I've got to admit. I think they're great to get people into vaping. I, I think it's great that, or if you're wanting something a little bit stealthy, for arguing say you're a business person and you go to lots of meetings and you want something to put quickly in your pocket, I think they're a great idea. But me personally, I, it's not something um, that I would uh, seek out and buy, should we say. But in for review, I think it's great and... Uh, at the amount of pod systems that are coming out now is quite amazing you think there's too many pod systems i think what's going to happen is that they're really flooding the market with this pod system um i think the obviously it's the pod systems with the nick salts is the uh, the perfect combo so yeah i'm sorry they just don't do hope for me they really don't but that doesn't mean that it's not for somebody else. I mean, there's plenty of people out there that must like these pod systems. So, uh, but me, not a big fan, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, plenty a plethora of uh, juice there. Absolutely loads. Uh, vape your heart's content to expo with that. Another thing that I thought was um, a little bit different this uh, year, it was the girls. And now we always get have this debate, and it comes up every time they go to Expo, about the scantily clad girls. Well, this year, I thought most of the girls that we saw, I mean, my wife commented about it. Vaping at Pete's place, good evening, sir. Tim, good evening. We noticed that there was, yeah, there were some really pretty girls, but I think they were dressed quite sensibly should we say i wouldn't i mean this still eye candy after all but i thought they was dressed a bit more tasteful than they have in previous uh, years what do you guys think gail what do you think <laughs> yeah they were they were it, it, it felt I, I don't know if anybody else noticed the whole expo felt a little bit different from uh, previous expos I, and i can't explain why it did feel a little bit different but it did 
No bums, yeah, no bum cracks. Was this and them girls on stilts? I didn't see them either. <laughs> I just thought it just felt a little bit more professional. I, I thought it was nicer. Some of them did, yes. The ones that I was talking to, yeah. Um, well, yeah, October was like a blooming circus with them. I mean, and the one in May before that, I mean, some of them were dressed well. Well, they might as well not have been dressed. It would have been easy just for them to, to go around naked for what they were. But I thought generally they looked respectable. Should we say that? They looked very pretty, and it's, that's nice to always look at. But they would look dressed more respectable. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you, Zan. Totally agree with you. Yeah, totally. I th uh, Me and the wife were talking about it, how slightly different it was. It, it, Expo felt a different feel to me. It felt more, how can you put it, more relaxed, more calm. It wasn't so like a mat all the time. The music was nowhere near as loud as it normally is, uh, which was, you could have a conversation with someone on a stall. I thought that was great because um, obviously I was meeting uh, vendors that obviously I've been working with and it's it was nice that you could actually have a conversation with them and thank them and things like that even though there was music in the background and I thought that was really nice as well which I, I was quite impressed so it is coming up to that time the big box giveaway I am nervous because I've not done this before, so here goes. Right, we are going to put up our randomizer. Let me put that on there. Yay, randomizer works. So, as you can see, I'll just scroll that up and down. There are all the names in there. There we go. There's Kia. Yeah, there's quite a few of you in there. Well, that's in chat now. Mm. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I ain't done this before. I can do it again. Right, all I have to do is press that one. Are you ready, guys? Let me hear yes. Come on, come on. I want everyone to type yes so I can press it. Come on, everyone type yes. <laughs> I'm not going to press it until you all type yes now. <laughs> Hey, Gainer Bops, yay! Goober, yay! Chris, yay! The Weeping Postman, Roy, way you're all coming up nicely. Thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you for the support. Just want to say a big thank you to everybody that commented. Thank you so much. So, are you ready? Here we go. Click. It won't work. Oh, I'm clicking. Why won't that work? You're all there. Oh, there you go. Stephen Hudson. There you go. The winner is Stephen Hudson. Congratulations. Whee! Right. All you have to do, Stephen, is email me at solome at gmail.com. Like I did say in the uh, last live show, you pay the postage. So what I'll do is I'll send you my uh, PayPal account with how much it costs for the postage. And we'll get it sent off to all these goodies. I can't, I'm, I'm blooming there. Uh, Still got me in video. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting all giddy. So, kiddo, you've won all that lot. Well done, congratulations. So, yay, it worked, I'm well chuffed. So yeah, all you have to do is email me at solom at gmail.com. Just message me there and I'll obviously send you my uh, details for me at PayPal to pay the postage and I'll get that sent off to you. Awesome! Big congratulations, kiddo. Oh, I'm well chuffed. My first ever giveaway. I've never done that before. <laughs> Not live, anyway. I think I did one about, oh, about eight, nine months ago on my uh, normal channel, but I've never done it live like that. So I am well chuffed that that worked. Big congratulations. So like I said, so long at gmail.com. Send me your, uh, your details and obviously I'll send you mine and we'll get it all sorted out that way. So that is awesome. Right. Stream health. Okay, so that's that good. Are we doing all right? And we're on the last 10 minutes. So like I said, we, if you've got any questions... 
You certainly can if you're around the corner, kiddo. Yes, you can pick it up. Um, email me still and we'll we'll sort that out, kiddo. Yeah, brilliant. Even better. Yeah, that saves messing about. I've got it. I'm curious now. How, how? You live next door? <laughs> Roy, I will be going to the one in June in Doncaster. I'll be going to the um, Vape Collective. Yeah, no problem, uh, Steve. Yeah, definitely. That's how he's messing about. Yes, yes. Ah, I mean, that's a good one then, isn't it? Yes, from uh, Bortre. Brain, I, I do apologise. I am one of these people that I'll never forget a face, but a name I am terrible. Absolutely terrible really yeah you're going to collective mark awesome oh i can't wait well our little bro's going and i believe adam's coming as well i don't know if he's coming for the both days but i know he's coming so oh brilliant mate can't wait oh it's gonna be expo all over again <laughs> anybody else going to uh, the vape collective in doncaster steve you'll be going <laughs> Awesome, mate. Oh. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, we'll sort out a time in that lot uh, for you to pick it up, Steve. In fact, I can meet you halfway or whatever. Oh, that's it. Brilliant. Oh, well just. You going uh, Purple Lady Vapor? Awesome. You're on holiday, Claire. Cool. You're trying to persuade the wife to let me go. I missed Expo. Deadly Sinner, you have got to make it. You've got to. Really, Gail? You're thinking about it. Wow. <laughs> we need to talk. Because <laughs> I was coming up your end the second week. Well, Jan's on about thinking about coming up to Scotland in the first... Because it's our um, wedding anniversary. It's 20th wedding anniversary on the 6th of June. So we're planning a little break, obviously either the first week of June or the second week. So Jan, we were talking to Jan um, early on to this evening. And we were planning on going up, up to Scotland in the, probably the first week. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it'd be awesome. From the West Country. Yeah, it is a tad, a tad, tad far, but... Uh... Excuse me, Mark, you're, you're come my wife end. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Didn't mean that. <laughs> Zan, you'll get me shot, you will, and behave. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant well we'll all have to get together and uh, have a drink and that like that'd be awesome i'm hoping the weather's going to be like we've had this last couple of days it's been absolutely gorgeous hasn't it 277 miles to doncaster wow that's a fair old trek definitely a vc meeting is needed <laughs> Yeah, I mean, 200 and, I mean, how, how far was it? I mean, Gail, how far was it for you two to come down to uh, Birmingham? I know it took you something like five hours. Grimmy, it took us about an hour and 50 uh, to get from here to um, Birmingham. So, uh, yeah, I know that trip. But there is camping there, so... Uh, you could always stop the weekend. That would be absolutely cool. I'm trying my best to get a Ryan Braces up there as well. <laughs> one hour 30? That, that's not bad. Collect one hour 30? Oh, yeah, he can cope with that one. But it's three hours on the train. How does it work that one out? Where is Doncaster? <laughs> 
It's in Yorkshire, lad. It's in Yorkshire. <laughs> What's near to Doncaster? We're not far away from Sheffield. Uh, we're lacking between Sheffield, Nottingham and Hull. If you get, imagine a triangle, we're in kind of the middle-ish. Ish. That's the best way of explaining it. Well, <laughs> I like to class it as the deep south of Yorkshire. North of Watford, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you got the stick prints. Cool. I'm not a big tank fan, especially smock tanks, to be honest with you. I'm not a big tank fan anyway, uh, Dark Storms. But I do like the um, OBS uh, Cryos 2. I absolutely love that tank. That is one tank that I will... I've, Steve's got one now, but I've got the other one, and I will definitely not be getting rid of that. Yeah, the, he's definitely, yeah. I do believe Doncaster has got the most pubs per square metre. I do believe that. I was quite surprised at that one. That came up on um, on uh, Google uh, a couple of months back. I was talking to our Aiden about it. It's something daft like, you know, um, how you get, what's your your town or city famous for? And ours is that it's got the most pubs per square metre. <laughs> Just a little bit of useless information there. When is the vape thingy in Doncaster? It is the 9th and 10th of June. Okay. <laughs> 95 quid Premier Inn for two nights. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, that. But there is camping on the actual site, so if you fancy camping, um, I think there's a little bit of a charge. I, th I don't think it's much, though, to actually camp on the site, so. This is true. <laughs> How many can you get in a metre? Well, if, if they're my size, you can get quite a few because I'm only small. <laughs> yeah, there's camping on site, so yeah. Uh, five pound. I, it could be something like that. I know it wasn't a lot of money. <coughs> no, I don't do camping now either. No, I can't. Be, nah, I don't, no, no. I want a bed. No, I don't. No, I'm not into camping. Some people love it, but I just can't see the point of it. Me saying, but um, Chuck Meister, why not? Go for it. You are in Doncaster, so homeless person might grab you. <laughs> you never know. It's four pound per tent, is it? Oh, that, I knew it wasn't a lot of money. I knew it wasn't a lot. I think that's pretty decent. That the closest Premier Inn is about five hundred, maybe six hundred yards away. It's not far away at all. Where the actual town centre is of Doncaster, where the marketplace is, there is a big uh, Premier Inn. And you actually just go further down that road and it's on your left-hand side. Maybe a bit more than 500 yards. Yeah, it is a bit more than that. But, yeah, it's not a million miles away. It's still so, like, for you, Gail and Zan, it probably you would still have to drive there. It was, it's a bit far for walking for you two guys. But... Uh, Able-bodied people, if you know what I mean. I don't no disrespect, Gail, but you can walk from Premier Inn to actually the uh, vape press. But obviously, that is so like. So yeah, I don't know. I think there might be a bus as well. I'll uh, find that out for next week and and uh, sort that out. Right, we are coming up to the hour. We are already at the hour. So I want to give Steve a big congratulations. Well done, sir. For Sort that out and we'll, if you email me and we'll, we'll sort it out and we'll meet up. That is absolutely awesome. Now, I was just thinking of you, Gail, because obviously, uh, yeah, um, how can you, how can you say, it? You, you know what I mean. Um, walking distance, it is a bit far for you guys. Um, so, yeah, I, I wasn't meaning anything horrible by that. 
Cheers, Postman. I do appreciate it. Now, Postman, which channel are you guys on tonight on? Are you on uh, VIX or yours? So give uh, them a shout and let us know so we can uh, let everybody know. Are we on... Is Vic um, streaming tonight? You're back on Vix. So don't forget, guys, to check out Vic's show at half past. And my good friend MF Vapes is on there. So please, 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 please give him a lot of love. I know he's a little bit nervous, but show your support for him, won't you? Because they're an awesome bunch of guys and they, they, they don't bite as much as you think. <laughs> <laughs> right i'm gonna wrap this up thanks ever so much for watching and i so appreciate it and thank you everybody in chat you are awesome and thank you for your support so i'm gonna leave it at that thanks ever so much for watching and as always happy vaping yay end chat end it end it mark